What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev back again for another first listen. And today, you know, uh, it's supposed to be New Artist Thursday, but it's Sat Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. So, but today we um we gonna listen to Joey Perp. Never listened to Joey Perp before. Uh, I'm gonna check him out. I heard, you know, his mixtape might have been one of the best of the year. So, you know, with that being said, why not? Why haven't I checked it out for myself yet? So, you know, we just gonna get right into this. As you know, you know, his name Joey Perp. So you know I had to do the intro with Lavender Town, you feel me? If you know what Lavender Town is, then you definitely fucks with me. But uh, like always, been talking too fucking much. Let's just get right into this. We got Joey Perp. Is it three eye drops? Or is it I I eye drops? Don't roast me, y'all let me know in the comments below. But y'all ready? <laughs> All right, we got track one, Morning Sex. <laughs> Sound like some Kanye shit right here. Show me what you got, Joey. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I done been on both sides of the I done witnessed both sides of the murder. Bro, what Kanye song I'm feeling right now? Kind of like one of the Kanye songs on like late registration. Hey. <laughs> Yo, that intro, he he came in there with that intro, you know, he said, huh, get over here, you know what I'm saying? He he definitely brought that soul with it, and uh, I like, you know, like I said, always bring vocals. You bring vocals, you be diverse with it, people gonna love you for that shit nowadays, you know, you just can't be one way now. Um, I definitely got a Kanye feel from that first from that first song. Uh, it sounded like some shit from Late Registration, I can't think of what song it is right now, but I'll probably let you know when I do figure it out, but... I'm liking what I'm hearing from this dude so far. You know, I like it. I like his vibe. He got, he got a nice little sound. We got track two, Girls, featuring Chance the Rapper. We know where Chance came from. Chance. I, I heard Joey Perkins sign with like Vic Mensa and Chance them, so figures Chance would be on this bitch. I definitely thought at first it was just like it was a weird type of beat because it sounded like you know it was uh he was just using like a simple beat you know like like a simple just and then it started building up, and then, you know the snare started kicking in. I was I started feeling that shit. I like what they were doing there. They were offsetting off each other's raps, and uh, I definitely appreciate that track for what it was. Uh, you know, Chance doing his fucking thing. It's crazy how it's Chance, Vic, and then this Joey Perk dude. Like that's that's fucking wild right there, man. They got a motherfucking trio right there. All right, we got track three, Money and Bitches, featuring <laughs> my underrated favorite, Nick Jenkins. Shout out to y'all for showing me him. Yo, Mick Jenkins, bro. He just built it up to be my, one of my favorites. Young Purple. All I hear is plenty of bitches and 20 inch business. I ain't oh. been judging the business. My Jesus be thinking. Oh, my God. Bitches be plenty of bitches and 20 inch business. That's all that's the bitches be bogus and niggas be snitches. Oh. I ain't been judging the men of any tennis. My men no more said this. But my Jesus is fully golden. It puts my pockets to swollen. They think I'll cost a dollar to listen. I hope you pay me attention, man. It's a point that we make. Real talk, Joey. Oh, this nigga got some fucking soul, Phil. You feel me? 
I'm dislocated, you don't know. A label, no, I'm coming for that paper. Ain't no fun, ain't no games to be played. Hit your girl with a parabola, like, will you behave? It's only linear equations. We can't do that. I'm trying to kick it out. Equations. Well, I'm a math nigga, you know. I took count. I know what that means. <laughs> kind of vibe I'm getting from uh, Joey Perk. It feel like he got a little bit of Pharrell in him. You feel me? Like that, that, um, not the style of the way he rapping, but just like his creativity. You feel me? Like it's this, it's just, it's so soulful, and, and you know, his lyrics are really meaningful, man. He's saying some real shit on here. I was actually surprised. I thought Mick was gonna like fuck up on that track because I didn't think Mick was gonna be a good fit on that track. But Mick did his fucking thing as well. Yo, we three tracks in and my nigga Joey Perp is here. <laughs> Alright, we got track four, When I'm Gone, featuring Teddy Jackson. I definitely like his beats though, man. Again, man, Joey bringing the bars. It's crazy because, like, you say Joey and then, like, but there's Joey Badass. Just call him Perp. I ain't even call it Joey. I'm gonna call him Perp. So, yeah, man, this man Perp, man, uh, definitely with the bars again. I like his flow. I like his flow. He definitely conscious rapping. He, you know, he's spitting about his life, man, like, really. And just giving you that real shit, man. No if, buts, ands about it. We got track five, photo booth. Turn me up in the phones. listens to actually you know decipher it but uh I, I definitely like the hook the beat was uh it was a little it was a little different um he had a little funk going on with the drums I see the drums is like literally in all the uh all his tracks but it was just a little weird like i said man he, rem he reminded me kind of a bit of pharrell I, I don't know it might be just be me though he kind of reminded me of pharrell if y'all know though, Pharrell is my top five like favorite artists ever. So we got track six, Cornerstone, featuring Saba and the Mind.
But if if this was a mi if this wasn't a mixtape, yo, this might actually be in talks of t album of the year. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> I don't know, man. It got that Kanye feel. It feel like I literally got like a little bit of Pharrell in him, man. And then he just he just raps like. He kind of rap like, sound like, you know, the Joey Badass, I guess. But he just sound like a more polished, better version, you know. I guess that's just my opinion of. Um, I don't know, man. I just like this dude. Like, I think, for, you know, we midway into the mixtape. And, and it, it, he's just been dropping nothing but fire. Other than that photo booth that, you know, it was still good. But, I, you know, it's going to take a couple listens for me to, you know, to actually, you know, break it down. But these first six tracks are just, Damn. Um, I feel like, like I said, he got that Joey vibe, like the way he raps, like this dark, and it's like this dark flow, but at the same time, you know, he makes it sound, he makes it sound really good, his, his beat selection is really well, he flows on the beats nice, you know, he's not just like, I feel like he's just not going tangent and just like, just running and running, like, you know, he's actually flowing, he's riding the fucking wave, you know, he's, he's riding the beat, you know, like, um, that's the only problem I felt like. I had with Joey. Other than that, though, like I, I feel like Joey Perp is this. Is, he's the next. He's the next thing up. Like I maybe I'm late on him, but I feel like this. This dude don't get as much as much show as he should be. Like this is some soulful ass shit right here. He he's spitting real shit. It sound good. You know, it's not underground, but it's not you know too mainstream. I I don't understand why this nigga's not popping. <laughs> but uh, we got track seven. Say you do. Like you hear these beats, yo? Like first of all, I always say beats, you always gotta have good beats. You always gotta have good beats. If you ain't got good beats, niggas ain't gonna listen to you. Like it's just what it is. Like you gotta have something that's gonna reel somebody in at first and then you know you can spit your lyricism. Uh you gotta have something that's gonna sound good though. Like you got to. It, it it's it, it's in the fucking manual, alright? You see that for real, bro? He got some for he got for real in him, man. Straight up. Alright, so for that track, like I said, man, the the beats uh, production is A1. Uh, I think he was just playing around on that track, though. You know, he's like having a little fun and shit. Uh, I definitely like that track, you know, for a little, you know, play around track, man. You know, not very lyrical, but we got the message. Have fun with it. Track 8, God Body. So for that track right there, man, I'm definitely gonna take another listen to that. Uh, that's just one of those tracks that you just don't listen to one time. You can't listen to one time. All right, we got track nine, kids. That might be the first track I didn't like. Um, I wasn't really feeling that one. Uh, may, may, maybe it might grow on me, but I just I didn't like the auto tune. Track ten, Winter Circle. Uh. Everything just sounds so different, yo. Like it, it's, I like it though. I like it. Welcome to 
I love when people are vocal, bro. I love that shit, man. Uh, so that might be, uh, he, man, this nigga is the real deal, bro, like, he's fucking the real deal, I don't, between that and Cornerstone, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to decide when I get to the end, though, but we got a last track, track 11, Escape. And I love these old school samples he's using as well. So my final thoughts on the track, man, the, the boy Perp for real, man. I'm glad I gave him his own purple intro, you know, with the Lavender Town. He deserved that shit, boy. Perp, Perp is the real deal. If this was, uh, this is definitely in my top five. Top five listens to this year. Might be the top five releases of this year. It won't win album of the year because it's not an album, it's a mixtape. But, um, I think it takes, it takes the head. It's on par with, uh, with, uh, Chance's album. Um, Schoolboy Q's album, man, that's tough. Joey Perp, and then Schoolboy Q, we got Chance, that's tough, that's tough. Kanye's, still Brazy, I don't know, man, I know this is in the top five for sure, though, like, he was just saying some real shit, I like his vibe, I like his delivery, um, the beats were there, the production was there, I feel like he just got a little Pharrell in him, you know, like, he a little free freelance kid, okay, he probably older than me. But, um, he a little freelance dude, uh, he definitely spits what's on his mind, he spits the fucking truth, spits his life, and, and, you know, you can't hate on that, man, just, he's driven by his, uh, by his motivation through self-struggle, um, I, I definitely like what, you know, he's going, I mean, I guess he's been in the game for a while, so I can't really say that he's new, um, I think him, Vic Mensa, and Chance the Rapper, I'm glad that that's a trio, man, that's, that's a tough-ass trio, that's motherfucking D-Wade, Bosch, uh, LeBron type shit, you know. Joey Perp is definitely that nigga. He seemed like a cool dude, you know. Seemed like some dude I see in Wynwood in Miami. You know, <laughs> like that like one of them hippie dudes, you know. But uh, I, I definitely like it. I'm gonna listen to more of his shit. Good fucking job, Mr. Perp. This shit is straight. Like, I mean, I don't know what else to really say about it. I mean, for a mixtape, I'm disappointed that it was a mixtape. You should have made this an album, added like two more tracks in that shit. You would have had you a fire ass album. But uh, nonetheless, great ass motherfucking mixtape. You keep coming with the music. I'm going to keep coming with the reviews. And uh, yeah, welcome to the Miyamda gang. Perp. We're going to call you Perp. I should call, I should call this nigga Gengar. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's a Perp Pokemon. I might as well call it nigga Joey Gengar Perp. All right? That's his new name. Uh, hey, it's been your boy Dev. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. And until the next time, we out.